Hey, Matt here, and welcome to another Mob Street video. Now, again, I'm here with my 2019 TW200, and today's video is going to be one that some might think is very simple to do, and it is. But we are going to be removing the front wheel off the TW200. Now, this process is very basic. You can find it in your owner's manual. The reason you want to know how to take this off is maybe there's some maintenance that you need to do the, to the front wheel. Maybe you need to true the front wheel. Maybe you need to replace uh, the bearings in the front wheel. You know, maybe whatever it may be, maybe you want to go get the tire swapped out. Whatever it is, we're going to show you the process on how to remove the front wheel. All you need is a few basic tools and a way to support the bike in an upright position and you should be good to go. So we're going to get started on that and let's show you how to do it. All right, so the tools that I'm going to be using for this today are a 19 millimeter socket, a ratchet, 19 millimeter wrench, a pair of pliers, my torque wrench, and a putty knife. Step one, with the bike on the ground, use the 19 millimeter socket, ratchet, and the 19 millimeter wrench to loosen the axle nut. Don't take it all the way off, just loosen it. Step two, you are going to loosen your speedometer cable off of the speedometer mechanism that's in the wheel, and it might be tight, so that is what the pliers are going to be used for. Step three, you're going to raise the bike up into the air so that the front wheel can move freely and be able to get out from underneath the fender, no problems. Step four, finish loosening the axle nut and go ahead and take it off. Next, you're going to go ahead and pull that axle out of the wheel. And if you're looking at the bike, it's going to come out on the left side. If you're sitting on the bike, it'll be coming out the right side. Now, this is something that I like to do when I'm removing the axle. I'll take the axle and the spacers and uh, the washer and the nut and put the axle completely back together just so I know what order everything went into. Now, this is just something that I do on my own. I like to get a little bit of grease and put a little bit on the axle so that when I, you know, put the axle back in, it slides freely, there's no binding, everything on there is good, and it does not take a lot, just a very light film is all you need for this. Now, after you've done everything with the front wheel that you need to do, let's put the front wheel back on, slide the wheel into place, and if the brake pads are giving you a little bit of fit, that's what the putty knife is for. Go ahead and put that in those brake pads, Spread those open a little bit so that the rotor can fit in. Slide the wheel back into place and you should be good. After the rotor's in place, make sure that the speedometer mechanism there in the wheel is facing in the right direction so that you can get the cable back in. Next, this is why I put everything in order on the axle. I put my spacers back in so I know which orientation they need to be. Go ahead and lift that wheel up a little bit. Slide your axle back into place. Make sure nothing's binding, all works well. Slide it all the way through and reinstall your washer and your axle nut. Now, when you tighten this, you can tighten it by hand or you can use your wrench and ratchet. Just tighten them down a little bit. Don't make it snug just yet. Go ahead and lower the bike down. This is where you're going to torque your front wheel. Now the torque spec on this is 90 Newton meters. And for all those who are using foot pounds, it's 66 foot pounds. Go ahead and reinstall your speedometer cable into the speedometer mechanism in the wheel. And these just need to be finger tight. And then you are good with that. Now, this is one thing you want to do before you take off. Your brake pads are loose. Pump up that front brake before you go anywhere. Alright, 
that's it. That's how easy it is to remove and reinstall your front wheel. Now, if you're doing anything to the front wheel, like swapping out the tire like I just did with mine before you go back out onto the road, make sure that you pump up the brakes a few times to make sure that your brake pads are contacting the rotor and just take it nice and easy when you first go out of there. Make sure that your speedometer is working correctly, showing that you did get the cable reconnected correctly. So I brought the bike up here so that I could test the speedometer, make sure my brakes were good, and just get out and be out. So I hope you found this video informative. And as always, if there are any questions, comments, make sure to put those down below. And uh, make sure to hit like, hit subscribe, and follow along because I do have more things coming up for the TW that I'm going to be doing. I will have a review coming up on this Shinko 241, and I've got the skid plate on its way as well. So make sure to stay tuned for those, and we'll call her there. I'm Matt. This is Mob Street. Thanks for watching.